Yeah, talking about statues and stuff. Okay, here's a here's something that I was thinking about. The pharaohs. Now the pharaohs, they were big slave masters. They were like some of the I mean they enslaved all you know, almost the whole Jewish race at some at some point, didn't they? The, the pharaohs, yet they got pharaohs statues in Egypt. All there, the pharaohs. And no one's like, let's tear those down. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but good old devil's advocate. But um, yeah. So I say we tear down the pharaoh statues, pharaoh statues, because they were big slave owners, slave masters. I mean, they had millions of slaves. They didn't have like a like one or two slaves. They were like Thomas Jefferson and George Washington type slave owners. <laughs> Well, like maybe like 10 or 15, 20 of them, I don't know. They were like, these, these pharaohs in ancient Egypt had like millions of slaves. So if anybody who's a slave owner and needs to be torn down statues, it should be those pharaoh statues. But no, no, no one's going to tear down those statues. No, let's, let's put those statues in a museum instead. <laughs> That's what they do, right? They put in all those pharaoh statues in the museum and King Tut. Put him in a museum and love him. He's great. He, no, he owns slaves, but... He, he like he like had all the slaves and but he they made, made the, enslaved the whole Jewish race, but no, we gotta put him in a museum and love him. <laughs> we love him because, because time has gone on, right? But now, whereas you got people now, now imagine like in about two thousand, three thousand years from now, <sighs> there will be no statues to even put in, in a museum because people keep putting, <laughs> you know, wanting to tear them down. <laughs> So in 2000, 2000 years, where are all the statues of people? Uh, in the 20th century, 21st century, there's like no, no, no statues of them. What, what, what was, what did they do? What, what was the historical significance of them? Well, there was this thing where, where people were getting too little hoity-toity and too kind of feeling their feelings hurt by these statues because they represented, you know, <laughs> slave masters, and so they tore them down. But of course, you know. But if they were to stay up, then we would have had some nice, you know, some nice stuff to put in the museum. But no, they took them down. <laughs> you know, they, and the people that they kept up were just people who were nice. <laughs> it's like, if you want a statue to made of you, you should be nice. <laughs> if you're not a nice person, you will not have a statue made of you. <laughs> so only, pe only nice people have statues made of them. So all the statues of the pharaohs, but you gotta admit, like, like the coolest statues are the ones of the bad guys, you know, like the pharaohs and, and all those other guys, you know, the... You know, all those, a lot of those leaders weren't they like, really great people. They always say like Alexander the Great and all those guys, and they they weren't like the best of people. <laughs> Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan, <laughs> but yet they had all the statues and, and palaces made for them. And, uh, but, they, but yet, but now we're like, oh, we're, we're, so, we're so glad they kept it, <laughs> In, unless they had like an uprising of moral compass back then too, like, no, we will not have your statue up, you're a slave owner and evil, and <laughs> we should not have your statue up, we should, <laughs> because you're evil, <laughs> evil people will not have statues made of them, we will just have statues of nice people, if you're nice, you will have a statue of you, if you're a mean person, your statue will, will come down, thank you, that is all. <laughs>